with Dr. Lee Davis. She is a professor of law. I'm here with Shivana. They are both married. They disagree on who should be the head of their household. Now, my next guest said she had to take charge of her home, but it shouldn't be her role. Take a look. Dr. Field. Yes, I take care of the entire outside of the house. Doctor, if you're almost, you know, whenever you get single, let me know. It sounds like we would have a compatible. We'd be very, we'd be very compatible, you know, believe me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, right, now you're back here. He's telling his story about helping outside and doing all that. And you're back here rolling your eyes. Me? Yeah, you. If he lived a day, on August 16th, 1905, the people of San Pedro, California, voted to consolidate with our lovely city of Los Angeles and thereby gave Los Angeles not only a larger city, but an opportunity to expand its resources. And also, on August 15, 1939, The Wizard of Oz premiered at Groman's Chinese Theater, starring Judy Garland, of course. So that's what happened on this very week, the week starting August 14th. So right now the feds are handling this case and one of the major issues with it is going to be statute of limitations and that has to do with a case has to be filed and charged within a certain amount of time. Um, in other words, a lot of fraud cases like maybe credit card fraud, a lot of states only have a four year statute of limitations. That means if the government catches you six years later and they try and charge you but the crime was four years ago, that the case would be dismissed because it is too old. So this case, the kidnapping was 23 years ago, but the argument, which is most likely the winning argument that the prosecution will make, is that this was a continuing crime. Again, this woman, the child that was kidnapped, she's only in her early 20s. So definitely until the age of 18, there's no question that she was still being kidnapped. She wasn't an adult. She was being raised by these people and she didn't even know that she had been kidnapped. Now there's an issue of when exactly she found out she was kidnapped because they're not really sure about that. We know that she was able to find her parents only recently, but she also mentioned that she always thought she was kidnapped. So then the issue becomes once she did reach the age of majority 18, did she already know? Did she stay there voluntarily? Again, I think the winning issue is going to be that this is a continuing crime, so the statute of limitations really is not at issue. The crime continued until the day that she was turned over to her real legitimate parents. Because even if she was there as an adult, even if she, for instance, knew at 21 that she had been kidnapped, she still could have been there under duress. She wasn't necessarily there voluntarily. She's still just reaching the age of adulthood. She's still not 100% positively sure she was kidnapped. The story in itself is odd and extreme, so maybe she thought that it was just something that she was creating or imagining, and then she's still not sure whether her legitimate biological family would accept her. So even if she did stay there and knowingly as an adult, the argument would be she was staying there under duress and therefore still being kidnapped, and therefore the kidnapping crime is continuing. Pretty much Miss Petway is going to be charged. She's not going to get off. The case is not going to be dismissed. It's likely going to be charged in the federal courts. The feds have a lot more money. They'll get a lot more evidence. They have a lot more resources, a lot more attorneys, and she will most likely have to do a significant amount of time because, again, the charge of kidnapping is quite severe under federal law, a 10-year to life sentence.